We've previously looked at creating background images that are responsive, and now we're going to look at images themselves, particularly images that might sit in a column like this on your design. And we've picked this up from our responsive grids tutorial that we've done previously. So if you need code like this, you can pick up or follow our responsive grids tutorial. And in something like this, we see we've got four columns, but when we get down to it, iPad or tablet size, we see that we get the four columns moving into two columns and then when it gets down to a smaller size for mobile that it goes uh, smaller again and we end up with just one single column going across all that. So the image is going to move around and it's going to be slightly different for different size screens. So let's look at how we would go about creating something like that. So we've got our grid in here. I've added an extra class in here. If I do Command E or Control E on a PC, we can open that up. Basically, we can see we've got um, some padding in there and at different places depending on which size it is uh, the padding is different so a large screens more padding medium screens smaller padding and very little on the smaller screens we don't really need the cell that's just making it gray and we're going to put real content in there so let's remove that entire we don't need that because it'll give us a, a specific height which we don't necessarily need and let's remove the four columns and start adding content in here so in here i want to put in an image so let's give it a class of RISP, uh, actually let's make it RSP uh, for responsive and that will work nicely. We'll create that in a moment. So let's put the source in. I want, if this was a real content, we'd put a real image in there. Okay, that's great. So we've got that in place and now let's just put also a paragraph underneath there as well, just to show what might happen. If we look at this in the browser, the image actually we can see it going over into the next set of four columns. So we can see it's not responsive, it's pushing out, it's gonna break the content that's here. Description is there below. The class that we add, RSP, will solve that. But I just wanted to show what it was like before we did anything. Let's copy that and let's add the same image into all of them just so we can see. And it become really obvious that it's you know, actually broken here. And we can see there the overlap it's happening it's really not working so we need to fix that I'll save the page go into the design CSS and in here RSP and what we say is let's make it have a max width of a hundred percent then we set the height to auto RSP and now that confines it to 100% of the container that it's inside so now the images all fit together quite well so no matter what size screen we have if we go up really big we can see it works like that if we go into and inspect this and then we go to responsive we can drag in the responsive and as it gets to tablet size which will be just under 1024 it moves to this size and then once again, it goes down here. So there we have the option to play around with the kind of design that we've got and use the same image, but it goes across all of those different size screens and it responds using the maxed width property. And that enables it to always be 100% of the container that's holding it.